Well, hello friends, and it's nice to see you again. Welcome today. It's another pre-built rebuild with a few budget upgrades. This is an HP Compact DC7800 small form factor. And hey, this channel that you're watching is... What we do here is go back, 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 back. If I had all the money in the world, unlimited sponsors, I would still restore and upgrade older tech simply because it's more satisfying than building or owning new. When people stop by here, they don't ask about my Ryzen 5 1600X. They want to know how much the Optiplex or old HP is. With that said, let's just get into this build. I already scrubbed this case and scuffed it with scotch bright pad and painted it with duplicolor rubber paint. For the upgrades, a brand new 120 gigabyte Patriot Burst Solid State Drive. That's around 24 bucks. A used 160 gigabyte Western Digital Storage Drive, five bucks, and a used Q9 550, which was 15 bucks. After a BIOS update, I want to make sure I have the settings the way I like before the operating system installation. added a case temperature gauge and LED lights by splicing in at a 12 volt floppy drive power connector. It's just mostly for looks. 
I feel this is a great score for a 2007 HP Compact. If you look at what the baseline specs that it's being compared to, it's really not that shabby. The only thing I feel could be better is the GT1030, but obviously this is not a PCIe 3.0 slot computer, and power it is limited to around 25 watts. So, hmm, I think it's pretty cool.